my name is Wouter and I want to inspire and motivate people into becoming their greatest version and live a life full of passion. My name is Wouter. <laughs> Before you watch this video, Erin Daly's channel and my other playlists will feature here and in the description there will be Erin Daly's meditational guide. Before you watch this video, write down in the comments what you are struggling with in life. Put it in a question form or just write them what your struggles are or and write down which questions you, you just have. Maybe I can make a video about it. So, okay, this is my NoFab journey, day 110. I will put down in between like this is day one or day 110 day 110 of MO day one again of PMO because I watch porn but hey it is what it is so today was a day I meditated a lot inside but now I learned this is, you can make a goal about this is, you can achieve this inner peace if you are meditating in a place where you are alone. And that will become eventually relatively easy to experience peace and love. It's just be, it's, feeling love is just going inside your heart chakra. Just like I just visualize the person I love and I go inside my heart chakra and I really feel how it, should, how it will feel to be with her. And then I experience the feeling of love. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel love, man. This is so fucking powerful, man. Mm, you can feel every emotion you want in this moment just going inside your heart come on see like you can feel excited like everything that's 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 the amazing thing but i also did some inner work today with my pain body so the pain body again is just lower vibrational energy it's just energy and just putting your awareness on it is showing a compassion. It's showing compassion to your or inner child. Is um, allow your inner child to feel what is how you feel to feel it how it how it feels. Notice that I use it as an other identity and not being you because you are love from your heart, and that is another identity. But it is what it, because you know it's energy. And we are also energy, but it's loving energy, and it's treated, it's to allow it to be, allow it, allow the inner child to feel how it feels. If it feels gray, it feels gray. If it feels less gray, if it feels down, just showing compassion by letting it be how it is, and. Just putting your awareness on it. Just if you put awareness on it, you show compassion. So that's it. But so I did lots of inner work. Yeah, man, I fucking love life, man. Mm. Excitement. So, yeah, my nose is recovering. So, yeah. In the evening, I went to my brother's game. It was the first game of the Belgium competition. It was Kavio Stende versus Muskrum. So, 
2-1 for Calvio Stendhal. My brother didn't play. He didn't got in the game, didn't got substituted. But the positive thing is he has now 1,500 euros just for winning the game and another 1,250 every month. So that's amazing, man. So that's for one game, 1,500 is his um, win, how do you call that? Wins Perini, wins, it's to win. Yeah, if you have an amount of money you get every game you win. If you win, it's 1,500. If you, if you draw, it's 750. And if you lose, I don't know, maybe nothing or, no, not nothing, but again, less. So, that's nice. And during the game, I was also managing my pain body, managing this lower vibrational energy managing this inner child and that's fucking amazing that's the thing and me and my friend were talking about he thinks the most the most exciting thing of being a coach is being is this psychological thing about it you have to be a psychologist man I feel you have to be a psychologist in life, but from a higher perspective, is um, being empathic and being compassionate again is knowing how your pain body, your inner child feels. That's the thing about respect. Is the thing about respect is if you you don't want other people trigger their pain body, you don't want other people experience the pain your pain body or your inner child is feeling that's the thing about respect from a higher perspective if you don't ha you don't have to show respect to people because if people don't if somebody doesn't show respect to me and triggers my pain body that means I still have inner work to do I still have unresolved issues I still have unresolved energy trapped inside my body that can't move freely or isn't released yet I don't know if it's great I don't know if it's even possible to don't have a pain body anymore is to release all the pain inside your body I don't know if that's possible I don't know if, that, if that's benef beneficial beneficially because then you maybe you can still relate but maybe you then can't feel empathy anymore because then you can't feel the pain of the inner child of the pain body anymore that's empathy it, empathy it, <laughs> empathy is feeling is feeling how your pain body feels and connecting with their pain body holy shit man mm. that's so beautiful the pain body or the inner child regardless how of how it feels it's so amazing, so amazing, so a blessing, man. <laughs> so great. Yeah, that's also, like, I love the psychological thing about everything. That's why I want to be a life coach. A life coach is somebody who has control of their inner body, or their inner child, or their pain body, and can help other people to get aware of their pain body or their inner child and make their inner child feel confident again <laughs> or make that energy go in a high vibration again, again. <laughs>